Tom O'Brien, Craig White in. To Tom O'Brien, oh. Dog, what the ball by Tom O'Brien. Liam Henderson. Henderson oh, oh, it's a goal, Jason Thompson. Jason Thompson knocked it home. home. One nil our both, fully deserved. Fantastic goal there. Great ball into the box. Fantastic header from Liam Henderson. Comes back off the crossbar and Jason Thompson is on hand to knock it home. Are both one Green at Morton nil. Picks it up, plays it wide to Linney. Darts into the box. Great run from Lynn. Oh, fantastic. And it's a goal. James Cregan. How great, great run from Bobby Lynn and converted by Cregan. Well, you said that second goal. You're right, coming. Fraser. You're right. <laughs> Incident there. We said David Gold chasing the ball. 2 0 up with seven minutes to yep. go. A game that doesn't really mean much, but we're still prepared to put in that Thank effort. Connor comes oh, over it's a goal. And it's a goal. Michael and McKenna. It is McKenna. What's that? His 15th of the season. League goals yet? Championship's top goal scorer, Michael McKenna. Heads home, Arbro's third on the night. And over in the North Stand section J, there's a a crowd of, of primary school kids making a lot of noise as Tom Walsh pierced in on goal! Picks his spot and fires Cali Thistle in front. Three minutes on the clock and Tom Walsh has Cali Thistle. 1-0 in front as Hyde wins the ball back for Cali Thistle now Walsh Shane Sutherland oh. that is splendid from Sutherland <laughs> and with 14 minutes gone inside the Caledonian Stadium Cali Thistle lead by two goals to nil what? Hyde to Harper Now Shane Sutherland, lovely ball to find Tom Walsh, and that is number three. It's just as easy as you like, Callie Thistle carve open Hamilton once again, and it's Tom Walsh at a double. Popescu sort of kept at him, but the, the first touch um, just made it even harder for him to, for the angle, of, uh, for the shot. Here's Mackay, does well to spin away from Popescu, he's got Walsh to his left. It's Tom Walsh with a delivery, that'll fall nicely for Joe Hardy, oh. and that is number four. 27 minutes on the clock, and Cali Thistle are putting on a show. I think it's his first goal, it's a tremendous uh, move again.
forward goes into the center circle and that was given away by Yule and it's knocked over by Newton and it should be a keeper's ball. He's dropped it. it, he's dropped it and could this be the opener? Yes, that's oh. a terrible error. Kenzie, it should have been a simple ball to gather and Danny Dale gives East Five the lead. Player going to get back there from Newton, he sells it in the center circle, finds Connell. Corner of the penalty area. It's a goal. It's 2 0. That's a superb strike from Kyle Connell. What a goal of the season contender from Kyle Connell. Right footed curling efforts. Beat the goalkeeper all ends up from the corner of the penalty area. Yeah. And we're about uh, 10 minutes from the break. Leach for McIntosh up the near side now. Looks like he might have the beating of Slattery and Newton, and he goes down and he manages to slip it through. And I think the referee's given a penalty. It's a penalty for Cove Rangers. Meganson against Jude Smith. 2 1. 23rd goal in matches in the, across the four matches played between the sides this season. Right peg of uh, Jamie Masson. Right swinger it is. Good delivery as well, and it's in. Megas had home after the initial knockdown. Travel for Meganson, Cobra, two down. Yeah, the downspeed Cobra, get it right. Comes in the right foot. Not down again, oh good save, must be though. On the rebound, it's Reynolds. That was a good save from Jude Smith initially to deny Harry Bell. Matt Reynolds followed it up. And I'm two goals down. Cove Rangers lead by three goals to two. Andy Graham just lets that come across him. And he's hauled down Simpson. And the referee points to the spot. And it's something out of nothing. It's definitely a penalty. And it's a red card for Aloha. And it Let's see if Morrison can do anything against Webster. Oh, and Morrison gets a hand to it. But Webster slots out in the back of the net and shushes that crowd behind the goal. Um, leading, the, leading the line, sort of, being the most advanced man forward. Corner comes in. It's Salmon that makes the connection and it's in the back of the net. I think it's Salmon's claiming it. Henderson's also staking a claim. I think Ewan Henderson, for me, got the final touch. And just moments after going down to 10, Aloha. Our back level. Yeah, as O'Donnell's first involvement. We've said it before. Good the turn from Henderson. Sorry to interrupt. And he's going to get oh. it back off McKeever. Ewan Henderson. Brilliant. What a fantastic goal from Aloha. Great team play from O'Donnell, Henderson and McKeever. And that's a calm finish past Lennox. It's going to open up the opportunities again. Just as it... Has it done. Almost does it again. And Ewan Henderson is going to get to it. He's on for a hat trick. It's Henderson! <laughs> hat trick hero Ewan Henderson. It's his final game for Aloha and he's going out with a bang. What a fabulous finish from Ewan Henderson for his third of the afternoon. Um, Brian Rice has also been at Hibs as well. He's, he's fairly, fairly getting through them. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I don't think that was a happy spell. McKeever's onside. He skips oh, past the defender, oh it's Ross McKeever, puts a cross goal, it's number four, and it's number four for Ewan Henderson. 
The second half has had three assists from McKeever, three assists from Henderson. Alloa, ten men, Alloa, are absolutely flying. Enough to hope that we, we might break through second half. There's a nice little run here by Simon Ferry. It wasn't sort of tracked. He's come inside. He's done well there. Here's an opportunity to shot, and it's a goal. It's an excellent goal. Number 21, Grant Savory. I mean, you couldn't place that any better and off the inside yeah. of the post. He can't have had too much opportunity to save that. It was too aggressive. I thought we might get a, a foul given there. Nice play by Scott McGill. Martin McDonald knocks it in. Oh, oh yes! The goal. Diamonds have got an equaliser. And Cy Ferry, who's I never guess scored. Guess his first goal. I, I don't know if he's had an OG before. That's, uh, that's <laughs> in many ways quite. Lee Griffiths to take the corner. Out swinger, and it'll come to Keegan Jacobs. Blocked by Connell. Well done from Connell. Tomogo can win this, and Connell could be touch. in here. Striding forward, tracked by Hetherington. Kloka Connell can get shot away on his right foot. Looks to cut in onto his favourite left back to Katongo! Beautiful goal! What a goal! Beautiful goal! The oh. back punch by Jai Katongo! Outstanding goal! What a team goal that was! Dixon flights the ball into the penalty area. Header by Morrison. Strong header again by Charlie Fox. Connell under pressure, McDowd's. Feeds it back to Morrison and strikes it. Oh, Finds the net. A great a strike there great by Callum Morrison. Goal. Levels the scores here at Forhill. So that's a Falkirk uh, top scorer. Caps off. A good day for him. He's played very, very well. Leach. Nicely in that area by Leach. Oh, and that was a nice wee one. Nice ball into the area by Jack Leach. Trying to get the number there, I think it was Kyle Banner. Oh, that's another great cross as well. Leafield fails to fails to hold that one and brings the player down, the advancing Stanley Albion player. He's trying to retrieve that one and it's a penalty kick awarded Carrick. And it's in the back of the net. 16 minutes done. Dale Carrick increases the lead. And away they go. Oh, nice wee bit of play from Stanley Albion, and that's number three. 18 minutes gone. Stanley Albion are scoring at will at this moment in time. Relentlessly. But, um, not affecting the pitch a great deal. Here comes Sterling Abbott again. Oh, that's a great shot! What a shot, what a goal. 27, 28 minutes now in the clock. And that was a great step inside and a great shot from Dale Carrick. That's his second of the day by Moore, who plays it forward. Right to Leach. Leach is away here. Tries that wee ball through. He's onside. Carrick onside. Squares the ball for Leach. He's taking a wee trip there and he's struck it into the net. And 21 minutes of the second half gone. It's still a Albion 5. And by courtesy of Jack Leach. Brady. Gallagher turns oh, that was nice. to Hilton. Oh, oh it's a penalty. It's a penalty, penalty yeah. yeah. Hilton yeah, brought good, down. Uh, we'll look straight, at the replay, but it looked a penalty, yeah. Yeah, it looked fairly clear. Now, Who's going to take it? Matty Yates to make it. Oh no, a jinky <laughs> so we go. Ball played forward. 64th minute. Hoban makes himself tall. And uh, Yates okay. strokes it to the left and puts the draw 1 0 up. And Stromar's top score up. Gives him the narrowest of leads. Yeah. And it goes. Oh, must be. Sam Ellis, Sam Ellis at the back post and beat two a players a on a the fa goal line and a Sam farewell Ellis goal at home. A farewell goal for Sam. 86th minute, young Sam Ellis. 
Albion Rovers had a decent spell of play. Now, that's, that's a slack <laughs> clearance from uh, Harvey Swan. Probably the first thing he's done wrong in the match so far today. But uh, Lewis Wilson now has it. Still going into the Cowdenbeath box. Shot, and it's a goal uh, from number 11, Charlie Riley. It was a snap shot. You could see the danger uh, coming, though. Uh, it's, it's a fantastic finish from the lad, and... 